waiting. Oh, there's one. Nice. All right, folks, welcome back to Everyday Wonder Homestead. We are back in the kitchen and we are making one of our favorite things to make this time of year. It is the time of excess numbers of bags of cranberries. So we went to the store and bought us some and uh, we are making our favorite cranberry habanero jelly. We're almost done, but the cool thing is we're gonna show you what we did up to this point and I think you're gonna like it. So get your canning stuff back out because it is not time to stop canning because some of this stuff is not available other times of the year, especially here in Texas. So enjoy this recipe. You're gonna have a good time and you're gonna find a lot of cool ways to use it. So let's get to canning, folks. those cranberries. Tell me in the comments if your mouth is making that puckering feeling just because you're looking at fresh cranberries. And if this is giving you a good pucker sensation, make sure you give somebody a good smooch. This has to come to a boil and then we'll add our sure gel. Awesome. Thanksgiving Eve guys I just wanted to bring you along uh, while I'm making this um, well it's a new recipe for me I've never done it before I was sitting here thinking trying to figure out what to do with our cranberry habanero jam that I made this week and uh, I'll just give this a shot so it's a cheese log sort of yeah we'll call it a cheese log and I have my mixer back Of cream cheese and half a cup, uh, well, about three, probably three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. Just gonna mix that, that up, and um, then I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. Cream cheese and powdered sugar. And it's, we're gonna start out slow so you don't sling powdered sugar everywhere because I've done that a million times. And I'm just gonna mix it. I might do just a little bit more powdered sugar. Let's see how, yeah. So I want this kind of stiff. Powdered sugar will set uh, offset the tart and spicy of the cranberry habanero. Okay, I've prepared, this is a nine by 13 sheet pan. I think it will probably only spread out to about right here. I've put just a little bit of powdered sugar so that it doesn't stick, stick to the um, plastic wrap that I have down. 
Um, so I'm going to pour it, put it in here. I'm going to put this down here. All right, I got it all spread out. This is our cranberry habanero jam that we made. And if you haven't tried this recipe yet, I really encourage you to do so. We made it for the first time last year just to try something new, something different. And uh, so we're still coming up with ways to use it. And I made a lot this year. We don't want a lot on there. We just want to, just enough to get that flavor with each dip of a cracker. Just a thin, thin layer. And we're gonna stop about right here so that we have a little bit left to garnish the top. And um, when we roll it up, we're gonna start at this end and roll to this end. And as it rolls, it'll push some of this out and we don't want it to be a super drippy mess if that makes sense all right so our cream cheese has been in the fridge for a minute and now i'm going to attempt to roll it we'll see how this works out it may turn into a complete utter mess I'm gonna crack a little bit, but that's okay. I'm just keep rolling. It's gonna squeeze out a little bit, and that's why we stopped. So we're gonna get it to there. And then I'm gonna pull it this way. And then I have some crushed toasted walnuts. You could use any kind of pecan you wanted. Or if you are have a nut allergy, you could just leave it like it is. You don't have to put anything on it. I just think it's pretty when cheese rolls or cheese logs have nuts on them. It's a little soft. I'm just gonna press that on there. Probably could have crushed the nuts a little more, make them more like a powder, but I didn't. I had already used these for another recipe and this was what was left over. So I'm trying to decide how to do this so I don't break it. Hmm. All right, we're back. Our cheese log has firmed up and we're going to garnish it with a little bit more of the cranberry habanero relish and then we're gonna give it a taste test. Mm. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So what I forgot to say was that I cut it in half. This half is for tomorrow. This half is for us to snack on tonight. Sweet. Fantastic. All right, you want to taste it? Yes, I do. That is so yummy. That's good. 
That is like one of my favorite holiday things. I'm glad we started doing that. Um, I can eat another one. You want another one? Yes. So I told them when I started this that I didn't know if it would work or not, that this was totally an experiment. Mm -hmm. And it works. I would say yes. Mm -hmm. That is really good. I like that a lot. Very good. Mm -hmm. That is yummy. Well, what do you think, Mama Cedar? It's very good. Quick, easy appetizer idea. The, the longest part of the whole process is letting it chill in the refrigerator and total of an hour and a half. And, but only about 30 minutes of it is prep time. So super easy, throw it in the fridge till you're ready to go, throw it on a plate and out the door you go. Awesome, awesome. Unless it stays here and I eat it all. True. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you for following along on this Thanksgiving Eve and uh, hope you enjoy this recipe. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, leave us a comment below and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.